Hello, this is your homeboy MCPC right here in the street of Houston, Texas. Hello, oh my God, how are you? That's what I'm talking about right there. Okay, right here in the street, uh, today is Nigeria Independence Day. I rep Ninja, representing Ninja, 54th birthday of Nigeria. We just want to find out what is going on. Nigeria has come a long way. We believe it could be better. I'm a proud Nigerian, and I'm sure we have so many. I'm sure we have so many proud Nigerians out there. Uh, but today, being a Nigerian Independence Day, we just want to dedicate this special program uh, to all every Nigeria here in Houston, Texas, all all over the country of America, and all over the world. All right, in in celebrating this wonderful country, Nigeria, in diaspora, uh, what I have done today is just to go into the street and see, you know. Speak to Nigerians that live in Houston, you know, uh, find out what they're going through and what they think about the country of Nigeria. So, ladies and gentlemen, go with me as I go into the street of Houston. Uh, we're going to meet some wonderful Nigerians who live here in Houston, Texas. Come with me. My name is MCPC. I'm a born Nigerian from okay. Edo State. Oh, nice. Okay, what do you? What is going on in Nigerian history today? Well, Nigeria they are marking their 54 years anniversary of independence. Uh, the first of October is always a date every Nigerian always live to remember. The day we got our independence from the British. So today we are marking our 54 years anniversary. Great. Okay. In in few in few seconds or in few words, how can you describe the current uh, state of the you know the country Nigeria as of today after independence? Well, uh, well, it has been a very rough time for the country, and I, if not for the grace of God, I don't believe the country will still be together. But today we thank God for the victory. When you look at all what the country has passed through for the past 54 years, the current issue of Boko Haram, the corruption, the political scene, if you put all together, you know Nigeria is a very strong country. We are, we are actually very rugged people, people that always want to come together, right. to do things together. We believe in unity and we believe in one Nigeria. Yes. And the president is also trying to do his best in as much as there are a lot of lapses in his regime but he has been able to at least to control and be able to take over the aim of affair in the country beautiful beautiful that's a very positive one right there from my brother marvelo then one more thing before you go can you sing the nigerian national item right now <laughs> Okay, I, I'll I'll do my best. Though okay. it has been long, I, I sang it, but I'll do my best. Arise, O compatriot, Nigeria, call me to serve our nation. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. That was from marvelous, my brother. Um, a shout out to all Nigerians in Houston and America. Thank you very much. I'll give a big shout out to my friend Jay, my auntie Mrs. Isoka Egbedion, my uncle Efusa Emmanuel, and all my friends, too numerous to mention, and back home in Nigeria, if they can see me, to my mom, I love you so much, to my dad, to my sister, to my friends, to my very good friends. You don't do, you don't do, no finish jam. We are not fighting the size. All right, man. All right. Right. What's your name, sir? Uh, uh, my name is Israel Olua Femi Aderemi. The whole world call me Femi Fuji. Some call me Fuji Preacher. Some call me Femi Gospel. People call me a lot of names, sir. Yeah. You know what, my brother? I wanted to ask if you're a Nigerian. You're a typical Nigerian. I have all the names. Original. But anyway, uh, what, what, do you, what, what do you remember? What can you remember that is happening in Nigerian history today? Well, today is the um, in uh, Nigeria Independent Day. Today is October first, and I do a lot of shout out on my WhatsApp, 
talk to my friends on phone, call my families back home in Nigeria. Today is the day 1960, Nigeria, October uh, 1st, 1960, Nigeria got independent from the United Kingdom. And today is a celebration and uh, it's a very good thing. I wish I'm home right now. Right. It's going to be bubbling in Nigeria tonight, I believe. Right. I mean, this is home here. We're having fun here, yeah, Dibu, I mean, yeah. Dibu here in Houston. Yeah. All right. In short words, what can you and how can you describe the current you know, situation of Nigeria as a country since independence? Uh, well, um, I would just say um, Nigeria, uh, we are growing every day and uh, we thank God for the way things is going, um, particularly um, 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 the improvement that we are having in some some of the areas, the exposure, let me say the exposure that the country is having and, um, and uh, Thank God that we are not in military era anymore. This is democracy, right. and uh, you know, democracy also they are building on it, and everything is coming is coming gradually. And I believe we will get there. Right. Yeah, All we're right. growing. Yeah. That was a great one from my brother uh, uh, Fuji Preacher. Uh, as a singer, I know of course you you love what you do, yeah. but I'm going to put you on the spot right now. Can you sing the Nigerian national anthem? Yeah, of course. I can even sing it in Fuji. Let's go. <laughs> let's go there. Let's go there. Her eyes will cover dress, Nigeria's color of bray, to serve our father's land, with love and strength and faith, the love of our heroes man, shall never be in vain, to serve with heart and might. A nation bound in freedom, peace and unity. <laughs> what is going on in Nigeria today? Well, I believe today is Nigerian's Independent Day, and we are all celebrating. Beautiful. All right. As a Nigerian, um, how can you describe the current situation of the country as, of, of Nigeria since the day of independence? Well, I still believe that Nigeria has a long way to go because from the time of independence till now, we have been having a series of issues. We have been having problems of uh, terrorists. We have been having economic problem, but we believe that it's not going to continue this way. Something is going to change very soon, we hope, with God. Beautiful. That's a very positive one right there from my brother Femi. Uh, then on the last note before you go, can you sing the Nigerian national anthem? Wow, if I can still remember that. Give it a shot. <laughs> All right, so compatriots, Nigeria call obey to serve our father's land with love and strength and faith. The labor of her heroes past shall never be in vain. To serve with heart and might, one nation bound with freedom, peace and unity. Good one from my Thank brother. You, Nigeria, family. I love you. I love you, everyone. Nigeria and diaspora. We love you. We bless Nigeria, and the Lord will protect us and deliver us from terrorists in Jesus' name. And our daughter that was kidnapped, they are going to return back to her safe and sound in Jesus' name. Amen. Love What's your name? Adaukoi. Adakoye, you are in Nigeria. Where in Nigeria are you from? Mm, I'm from Anambra State, but I reside in Lagos. Oh, that's why you say, mm, because we're not sure if you're a Lagosian or... <laughs> All right. Okay, what is going on in the Nigerian history today? Nothing much. We just thank God. We just pulled through from the Ebola virus <laughs> stuff. So, really thank God for that. Everything is okay. We okay. thank God just the suffering and smiling. Oh, if I remember, you said you live in Lagos. That means you are fresh from Nigeria. Yes, yes. What is going on in Nigeria? Nothing much. Every day, <laughs> traffic jams, whatever. The usual life. Oh, surviving, yes. Right, right. Okay. How can you describe, you know, the current situation of the country since the day of independence? As we, as I mean, you're from there, so you live there. We we'll listen on TV, you know. So tell us what is going on. Well, I wouldn't say there has been a great improvement. It's mm -hmm. just that I would say it's gradual, because there are some projects bringing up here and there. But we just pray that everything will come to an end soon right, right, right. <laughs> and improve beautiful beautiful great great so you heard it from side from somebody who just came from nigeria there is hope for the country 
All right. So before I let you go, you this beautiful lady from Nigeria, I want you to sing the Nigerian national anthem right now, right here. Let's give it a shot. Arise, O oh, compatriot, Nigeria's Kolobe, to serve our father's land <laughs> with love and strength and faith. Oh. <laughs> All right, that's it. That's how she can go. When you go back to Nigeria, they will ask you what you do to Nigeria National Anthem. Listen, I'm sir. Ade Alashe. All right, I don't have to ask you if you're a Nigerian. Of course you are. So what is going on in the Nigerian history today? Well, I know today is uh, Nigeria Independence Day. Nigeria actually turned 54. I'm happy to be in Nigeria, even though in diaspora. And, um, you know, the, the, we like to celebrate our heroes past and uh, those that fought for independence. And we pray their, their work will not go in vain. We pray the young ones behind and you know, people like me will live up to the expectation they expect from us. And uh, people back home too, uh, we pray everybody will have the strength, you know, to support what belongs to us instead of criticizing what belongs to us. Let us embrace our own and lift Nigeria. Long live Nigeria. Long live President. Uh, good luck, Jonathan. Long live West Africa. Great. Okay. Then uh, what, how can you describe the current situation of the country is this independence? Uh, well, I think... Um, I don't want to be, uh, you know, be a critic, but I will say from independence till now, uh, we went through a series of uh, military uh, uh, terrain and stuff, and thank God we are in a democracy, uh, democratic setting, yes. and uh, things are really working fine uh, for us in the country. And, uh, you know, it takes a while. Uh, United States are where they are today uh, because... Um, you know, years of independence, and they went through the system, and they went through, you know, uh, paradigm, paradigm shift, and stuff. So I know we're going to go through that, and uh, I want Nigerians to be patient. We are hardworking people, and we are also loving people, and I know with time, things, we're going to all reap the dividend of democracy. It's there, it might be little, but then... You know, it's not big enough for everybody to say, oh, this is it. We're not, we're not going to be America or UK overnight. Right. It's a gradual process. Great. Okay, before you go, you want to give any shout-out to anybody in Nigeria, in Houston, America, anywhere in the world? Yeah, I would like to give a shout-out to my wife, uh, Dr. Joyce Alashe in New York. I would also like to give a shout-out to my mom, my parents back home in Ondo State, Akure, uh, she from Mrs. Alashe, and to my siblings all over the world, Wonu, Nyinka, Femi, Tokumba, my big brother, Busui. I love you all by two wonderful gentlemen. They are a proud Nigerian, and uh, we're going to meet them shortly. Sir, what's your name? Charles Anashia Keke. Great. All right, and are you, sir? Sabinus Ezekwe. Great. Okay, uh, first question is this. Uh, what is going on in Nigerian history today, sir? Uh, Nigerian independence. Today is the uh, 1st of October. Great. Nigerian independence. We have Nigeria is 54 years today. And we are grateful and thankful that we are still one who love Nigeria is our country. Right. And we are thankful for those who fought for independence. And um, Great. Okay. Uh, I'm sure, I don't know if you are older than the country or the country the country is older than you. Because the same age, so you are as, as old as a country. Okay, you don't, okay, you don't do. <laughs> great, 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 great. All right. Since the days, uh, I mean, how can you describe the country as it is right now since, you know, we gain independence? Um, you have a sense of disappointment in the leadership. Uh, Nigeria should have been better than it is today, but we are hoping that uh, hopefully, you know, the today's leadership will be better than the past 30 years. Yes, sir. Okay. And uh, you, sir, I'm sure, are you older than the country, or the country is older than you? Older than me, but um, my father was among the founding nation of the founding country, NCNC. He was the first. Uh, Eastern and German Minister of Education and the Economic Planning and the Transport. What was your father's name for us? Who did he grow up then? Uh, G -E -O -K they call him G.E.O.K.K. G.E.O.K.K. Okay, mm -hmm. so what, how can you describe the current uh, situation with the countries after it? Well, I would say I'm, I'm a little bit disappointed. You know, we, we could have been done better. Mm -hmm. um, growing up in Nigeria in the, in the 70s, it was better than what we have right now. Right. Things was working. There was corruption, but not not, not, not as it is today. You know, um, we had pride. Nigeria had pride in, and then being respected among the nations. You know, I can remember in this in the seventies, in the during the Pan African movement right. and OAU, Nigeria was the tenth of Africa. Angola, Nigeria fought for Angola independence, and all those others independent. But today, we have been ridiculed.
Well, as a young Nigeria, it's, it hurt me so bad to hear that. But I believe, uh, like you said, uh, things we will, will be better. What, what is your What is your advice uh, for for the next? I know the election is coming up very soon. Uh, I don't know if uh, good luck is going to be re-elected, but whoever comes up, what is your advice to the next government? My advice is that they should learn from other countries like this country. You can have election, there's no problem, but don't rig it. I heard that the present president is planning on rigging the election big time. He shouldn't do that. If he has not performed, he should give way for other people. And if he loses, he should gladly leave. The next person should be congratulated. If he wins, he wins. But I hope they have a clean and fair election. Okay, that's, that's a beautiful one right there. And uh, uh, sir, what, what do you think, what, what, what advice do you have for the next government? I would tell them, uh, let Nigeria be a country that's being ruled by law, not by men. Right. You know, like America here, America is a country of law, not of uh, not being by room by men. If right. Nigeria can respect law, if they can put their laws on them, if anybody breaks the law, go to prison, pay for it. Mm. If you if you have the if you have the courage to break the law, then have the courage to pay the consequences. Right. You know, let them make Nigeria, let it be a country ruled by law, establish a strong institution. We need a strong institution, not a strong a strong man. Right. You know, right. so so people can move forward and then uh, let things get better. Okay. So, sounds pretty good. Uh, on a on a final note, I know you are older than the country, and you are the same as the country, and the country is older than you. All right, so I understand there are two uh, national items that we have. We have the old one and the new one. So can you seek the old one? Can you remind somebody like me who was never born then? I left the country so long ago that I don't even know what's going on there. So I can't, I'm sorry. What about the new one? The new one, I don't know it. What about you, sir? Can you seek either of them? Arise, O call Nigeria, Nigeria, call to be to serve our fatherland with strength. Here we go. We live in Houston. We have the, I have the, the old one, which is Nigeria. We had the, we had the old one. I, it's too long now. I've been out of Nigeria. My name is Martin Ahiaba. Martin here, but I'm trying to think where you come from in Nigeria. Sounds Igbo. Um, that is an Igala name. I'm from Kogi State. Oh, man, I got it wrong there. I think I need to go do more research about Nigerian names. Gala, Igala is in Kogi State, uh, where you have Lokoja on your way to Abuja from Auchi. I'm from Auchi. Oh. Great, great. Okay, what is going on today in Nigerian history? Um, Nigeria is 54, and um, it's worth celebrating uh, that we are still together as a nation. And um, here in the U.S., it took them almost two centuries to get where they are. Uh, that should be our consolation, and our people at home should be um, patient a little bit. Um, they, 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 they say where we compare. We right. compare administrations, we compare government. Uh, but uh, what I have to say is that they should be um, patient and take care of the little, little needs right. of our people, like security security of life and um, security of property uh, that's what we really need now right so that those who go home from here they should be secure and uh, we put things together okay great um, I don't know if you're older than the country or the country is older than you uh, it's older than you okay far more older than you okay from your experience or experiences as you grew up in Nigeria as a younger person as a student I I presume you studied in Nigeria basically okay how can you describe the current situation between when you were studying in Nigeria as a young man and today, after independence? Okay. Um, when I studied in Nigeria, uh, we, we all passed through the military um, administration uh, during um, um, Mabangida um, um, Abacha. And um, the, the educational system then, I went through school with scholarship. And the scholarship is, is not just to pay my school fees. Uh, that scholarship paid my school fees, paid my rent, and I fed with that scholarship. Uh, it was given to me by the Benue State government then, when we were in Benue State. Um, but now I find it amusing that uh, the kind of scholarship they give to our people cannot even buy a textbook. So uh, if they can't buy a textbook with uh, the scholarship you give them, I wonder how um, they pay their tuition and how they pay their accommodation and how they, they even feed themselves as students. So it's appalling, the situation, the educational system today is appalling. Right. Okay. Well, you hear that from somebody who, who was there, not that uh, you're reading from a newspaper. All right. We know that the election...
uh, I know you, you said the country is older than you. Can you sing any of the Nigerian national item, either the old one or the new one? I can sing uh, the, the new one. Okay, let's give it a shot. Let's go. Uh, let me get up. Please. Okay. Arise, O oh, compatriot, Nigeria, call obey to serve our father's land with love and strength and faith. The labor of our heroes past shall never be in vain to serve with hurt and mind one nation bound with freedom peace and unity Buffett. hip 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 Hurrah. hip 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 Hurrah. great Nigeria represented right here in Houston thank you very much sir. that was a very good one yeah, alright any final shout out to your friends here in, in America in Houston Nigeria um, yeah uh, what I have to say to our people we work hard um, the crime rate so far in the U.S., the 419 issue is coming down because people go to school and our people are ready to make it. And we are here to live in the U.S. We are not going anywhere. We are coming to make our home here. That's what I want to tell them. Yeah. What's your name, sir? Uh, my name is Abiodun Raufu. Abiodun Raufu, of course, you're a Yoruba man from Nigeria. What is going on today in Nigeria? Well, um, what is going on today in Nigeria is not very encouraging. But we are hoping that um, today is a time for sober reflection uh, to assess how far we have come and what we need to do to get to where we want to get to. Right. right. Okay. Beautiful. You live in Houston. What do you do in, in this country, sir? Uh, yeah, I work for the state of Texas. Beautiful. Yes. Okay. Great. All right. You, I don't know if you are older than the country or the country is older than you. The country is older than you. Okay, can you can you in in a few words describe the situation? You know, when you were growing up in Nigeria as a young man, you are still a young man, and now, how, can you really say that a lot has happened since after independence? Yes, um, a lot has gone worse um, since my childhood days. Things were far better in those days. I uh, remember when we were in primary school during the Gowan um, years. And uh, we used to get uh, free ice cream and stuff like that. Uh, during my university days, too, a, a meal was uh, 50 kobo. Wow. Yeah, while I was still in, in, in school at the, at the University of Ife, now Bafi Mawolo University. But um, I pity the youths of nowadays because uh, there's the most opportunity for them either in terms of uh, good quality education or even employment after school. Right. So things were far better then. Things have gone worse since then. And we're hoping that uh, we can find a way of turning things around so that uh, we can move forward. Okay, beautiful. Like you said, we hope that things will turn around. Okay, as a Nigerian, you live in Houston. Uh, you've, you've, you've been here for some time. You have a lot of experiences in, in, the, in the government set, sector that you work. If you were asked to come back to Nigeria today, will you go? Actually, I've not lived in Houston for long. I've been there for only about eight months. Oh, wow. And I don't intend to stay in Houston for too long. Um, I hope to go back to Nigeria before the 2015 election. And depending on how things work out, I may actually go. But my family is here, so it will then mean that I'll be visiting. Right. You know, okay. Beautiful. Between uh, Nigeria and the United States of America. Beautiful. Here you have it. So one of us will be willing to go back to Nigeria to make the economy great. So Nigeria, watch out for him. Uh, make sure that you allow him to do what is right. Because I know out there, like what I've heard, that if you want to do what is right, at times you get eliminated. So, And I pray that uh, even as you plan, to go back to help the country grow, uh, the Lord will lead you. But I action. All right, man. What's your name? I'm Princess Ruby Samson. Okay. Beautiful. You are a Nigerian, of course. Yes. All right. What What is going on in Nigerian history today? A lot of things. A lot of things. There are so many. I don't know where to start. People, the, the uh, students finishing school, they won't get a job, graduate, looking for a job. People are suffering in that country. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of things going on. The Ebola, we heard that there's Ebola in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. But my prayer is that God don't allow it to spread like the other side because right. we don't have the health sector to tackle it. Yes. That is my prayer. 
good, good. So, and today is what in Nigeria? First October, our independence. Beautiful, beautiful. But, yeah, is our independence. But are we behaving like people that are 50 something year old? Mm. We are not. Let's be truthful to, to ourselves. Right. We are not. But a number, yes, 50 something. Today is 1st October, independence beautiful, in beautiful, Nigeria. Beautiful. Okay, on the last note, ma'am, can you sing the Nigerian national anthem, either the old school or the new school? I can, even in my own dialect, Igbo. I can beautiful. sing it and write I mean, it. I'd love to hear the word, the Igbo one. Let's, let's give it a shot. Okay. Kulie no umi be zao kunke Nigeria ngoria no alana ihona yanke no kuke alunke kena haloru oga ilani. Nike nike obi noru na o tu kwena i Beautiful. I have never heard that before, ladies and gentlemen. That is a true Nigerian right there. I want to say thank you so much, Mala, for stopping by. Do you want to give any shout out to anybody here in Houston or in all over the country or in Nigeria? Give shout out to my my fellow worshippers in First African Presbyterian Church, nice. our ministers, our friends, my handsome husband, Prince Samson. Yes, sir. Thank you yes, so sir. Much. Prince Samson, if you're hearing this, you owe Madame a new gift. Oh, yes, she has given you a shout out on the TV. Thank you very much, man. You have. All right, my fellow Nigerians. I mean, you've heard it all from all your brothers and sisters here in Houston. Um, different experiences, different opinion. I mean, thank God we live in a free country where you can speak your mind. Uh, pretty much, my ad my conclusion is this: Do you just sit back at home and let the country go down the way it is right now? Do we join people to criticize the country, or we should make an attempt to make the country a great one? Whether you like it or not, some of us still have the American passport. We are still from Nigeria, all right. Our parents are still there. Our grandmothers are still there. Our grandfathers are still there. What can you do to make this wonderful country a great one? So, on this note, ladies and gentlemen. We invite you to please sit back at home, think twice as you go to sleep tonight. What can you do to make Nigeria a great country? All right? So on this note, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to stay tuned on this station for more wonderful programs that will help, you know, promote the image of our country, Nigeria. I still remain your homeboy, MCPC, and this is your number one uh, African television station right here in Houston. Afrocentric television. Alright, see you next time. MCP is signing out. Thank you.